Well, hello again. Uh, welcome to Applicad's uh, YouTube video uh, library. Uh, this particular clip, we're going to explore how we uh, digitize and create a three-dimensional model from an aerial image. Uh, this aerial image can come from various sources: uh, uh, Google, uh, Bing, uh, NearMap, or indeed uh, from your very own uh, aerial, uh, aerial survey device, uh, your drone with the camera hanging underneath. The first thing you do is uh, capture the particular image you want and save that to the user folder and then it's available for us to select. So we go to Construct Roof Track Outline, Enable Underlay and the options here are to paste from the clipboard or to open an image file. Now for um, good housekeeping I've saved the job um, to my user folder already and so it's uh, readily available for me to select and th th that would be the most usual way it's uh, something you can go back to if you uh, paste it from the clipboard you run the risk of actually losing track of where the job was so there's our image now that image in this case has come from Google but it could have come from your drone there are issues with drones and uh, we'll discuss that in another uh, another uh, video clip later on in this case um, when I captured this job in Google uh, conveniently the job was square to the screen and uh, that's a great help now when it comes into the screen it's of an unknown uh, scale now when I was in Google I actually measured that length uh, of the uh, the side of the building and uh, I can use that measurement to scale our job so the actual dimension was 14 to 50 uh, that's in millimeters and now I'm going to measure it as it was uh, on our drawing so from there up to the top here at the end of that gable there and now I hit OK and the job is automatically scaled to full size so everything I do from here on in is at full size well it's uh, quite a simple process now I simply uh, digitize the outline uh, the defaults for digitizing um, are set by you um, and g give consideration to uh, the, r the snap lengths um, this is the amount that it will round to an image of this sort of resolution plus or minus 50 millimeters is about as good as you can get um, you might you might get to, to 25 mil or one inch but um, it's it's not really any advantage you're kidding yourself if you think you're doing better than plus or minus a couple of inches so uh, from there we just hit OK and now we start digitizing so al aligning the cursor up with the end of that hip there's a good start point about there and because we're uh, locating these edges uh, orthogonally that is to plus or minus 45 degrees the, the software allows us to essentially square up so uh, all the lines are going in nice and accurate and perfectly square to each other using my middle mouse button to uh, middle mouse button to scroll in and out uh, to get a better uh, look at the uh, job and when I get to the penultimate corner I simply right click and hit close square now from here I have to define uh, the parameters for this roof and uh, the, it's going to be a pitched roof uh, in this case I'm putting metal on it um, the story will be story one and what pitch well we don't really know the pitch uh, so let's measure now when I was um, in Google I had a street view image of it and uh, I saved that street view image as well so I have a tool here to measure the street view uh, let's grab the picture from the street and uh, and then I can simply click on the corner and the base point and the height point and and that tells me what the pitch is 18.8 okay that goes in hit okay there and that goes in the box so I'm going to say that that's a 19 degree roof now the overhang um, I'm digitizing the perimeter if I want the drawers uh, the wall lines to be drawn uh, then I, I need to indicate what the uh, offset from the wall is and because I'm working from the eave I make that a negative number I indicate what the uh, eave type will be whether it's uh, fascia and gutter or gutter only and uh, and then we hit OK and it, I get a message now to remind me that I'm going to offset the walls and I'll accept that and hit continue and uh, and there's my roof uh, I don't need to save it right now but what I want to do is uh, I can see here I've got a few things that aren't quite right that's supposed to be a gable and there's a couple of Dutch gables there so I simply go into modify roof 
uh, hip to gable it wants to, me to save the job so I'm going to do that and uh, overwrite the model yes okay and so reading the prompts locate the ridge line uh, locate the ridge and the gable end is automatically constructed now this one it's got to whip out to there so locate the ridge line near the end and bingo that's about right for that and now for Dutch gable if I zoom in there a little bit um, I want a Dutch gable from that bit of ridge and it now prompts me for the distance from that flashing line to the base of the hip of the Dutch gable so I can measure that if I want to I just measure from there to somewhere about there and uh, there's no overhang on this one so we hit OK and we do the same for the other Dutch gable uh, measure th that now from here it's actually from this flashing line so it's actually from the line down the roof and because it's down the roof I have to put in a negative number and hit OK well that's uh, that's about it there's our roof and it's uh, as accurate as you could reasonably expect uh, I can come over here and uh, turn the image off now I'm not going to delete it I'm just hiding it so I can get it back later on if I need to um, there's our model um, in all its glory it's uh, a full three-dimensional representation of that and it's as accurate as the image allowed us to be and I would say well and truly plus or minus a couple of inches and you're absolutely on the money so um, that's the process, uh, very simple, and uh, with a bit of practice uh, you can do it too. Remember, if you get stuck, uh, read the manual, it's uh, there to help you, and um, it's anything at all that doesn't quite make sense, uh, all you have to do is uh, give the uh, support line a call and one of our experts will help you. So thanks again, I hope that was helpful, and I look forward to uh, meeting you online again sometime soon. Bye for now.